Hey tubers, welcome back for another adventure. If one is going to play in the all-terrain vehicle game, parts. Parts could be the difference between um, having a quad that runs or not having a quad that runs. Having a quad that you could enjoy or possibly sell and make some money on or having a quad that quite honestly is a complete and total loser. So I have a couple of different things here. Um, you guys remember I got this Kawasaki um, what is it? A Bayou uh, uh, Bay, <laughs> Bayou uh, 220 um, 1990 vintage and I needed a seat for it and I kept talking about yeah I'm finding seats, they're over a hundred bucks, and you know, like a hundred and change for the seat, and another a hundred and a quarter for the seat, and another twenty-five to ship it. So you know, here I am putting a hundred and fifty dollar seat on a fifty dollar quad, or even just adding the whole thing up, right? The carburetor was twenty-five. The quad was 50 I got 75 into it I still got to do a battery right and then to put a hundred and fifty bucks into the seat I was like oh man homie just doesn't want to play that so um I kept checking eBay and checking eBay and checking eBay and for some reason this seat was not showing up and I'm not sure if he had it listed wrong or what the story on it was. And then suddenly it showed up discounted from $75 discounted to 55 bucks. I don't know, 53.29. It was some strange number. Just call it $55. So, is it a great seat? The answer, the answer is no. It needs a little love and attention. But to be quite honest, um, the seats that, that folks were, were trying to get over $100 for were no better than this. And a lot of them were, quite honestly, worse. So anyway, here's the, uh, here's the person who told me the seat. You know, he did kind of a nice job for me. So I figured I'd give him a shout out. He doesn't know me. So if you say, hey, Harvey Spooner sent me, he won't know who I am. So don't worry about it. Um, the other thing, I've been looking for, um, I, I kind of, I kind of gutted my, um, recoil starter. I had a spare one for my recon. And with that, I, I just, you know, check occasionally. And this, I could have planned better by getting it out of the bag, I suppose. Um... And this this was um, eleven dollars delivered to the house, and it's a complete recoil, you know, that works. You see the the dog coming out there um, for eleven bucks delivered to the house. I you know I uh, I jumped right on that. I uh, snapped that right up with a quick buy it now once again eleven dollars including the postage a lot of times postage for these things costs more money than that it does have the um the shifting numbers on it so i think it is a real recon uh starter um that's another thing that you'll find some recoil starters are fairly reasonable and some are crazy expensive it seems that the recoil starters now for the 200s um a lot of the um, kawasaki stuff uh, lakota and so forth the yamaha stuff grizzly kodiak a lot of that stuff is um actually the grizzly the more modern starters aren't too bad but the older kodiak ones really are i'm hoping um the Kevin Bergenden, I think I said it right, um, comes through for me with that recoil because um, for the Kodiak, it's um, it happens to be expensive. The Kodiak 400. 
Um, though I couldn't really imagine pull starting a 400 cc. Pull starting a, a 250 cc is quite is quite the um, commitment. You really have to say I'm I'm going to pull this string and nothing's going to stop me. Because if you kind of if you kind of get faint-hearted halfway through the pull, a lot of times the quad pulls back and you know jerks the rope from between your fingers and uh, causes pain. So. Um, about this thing, the fuel shutoff valve was leaking and I went through all my O-rings and I couldn't find the right O-ring for it. Um, so I, I did a little um, brown goo in there I, um, and kind of locked the valve into the reserve position. I'm hoping once it dries... Um, that uh, it doesn't leak or at least it doesn't leak long enough to get a ride out of this thing because that's what I'm I'm hoping to do next okay that's it I want to thank everybody for watching and commenting and subscribing I want you all to keep your feet down keep your heads up and get out and enjoy each and every day buy some parts from eBay it's good for you bye now